having good quality audio is half of the experience when watching a video. A decent recording is absolutely essential to make your video feel so much better. Now bad audio can be extremely frustrating. Let me show you an example. I'm recording with an external mic right now, but if I switch to the on-camera mic, it's going to be really difficult for you to follow this video because it just doesn't sound as crisp. That's why in today's video I'll explain my top tips on how you can get better quality sound in just under a few minutes. Tip number one is moving your mic closer to your mouth. That way your voice will be the dominant source that your microphone picks up. Here's an example. I got the microphone located right in front of my mouth and now basically the sound recording is picking up my voice as the dominant part of the recording. However, if I put the microphone further away and out of the frame, now all of a sudden the mic is picking up a lot more of the ambience noise and other sound that is happening in the room basically and the recording is less clear. So always make sure to put your microphone as close to your mouth as you can to pick up only your voice. Tip number two. Never set your audio recording levels on your camera to automatic. That way your camera will not capture a steady volume and your audio will go all over the place. Instead set it to manual, then make sure your audio is not reaching the yellow or red marker, in other words peaking, and then you're good to go. Next you want to eliminate and face away from all noise sources. If you are sitting in front of an aircon unit then it is obvious that your microphone will pick up some of the residual noise that is present in the room so make sure you minimize that and avoid it in the first place. Here's another example. Right now I'm in the middle of the room and there is no distracting noise but if I step closer towards the window all of a sudden the microphone is facing towards the street and picks up a lot more environment noise it's just like the cars and the street and so on so hold it in a direction away from sources of noise now this is not a gear video but i generally recommend two types of microphones the first one is a lavalier mic it's extremely affordable and small the second one is a shotgun mic which is also common with youtubers quite versatile i'll link a few budget options below the video all right the next tip is brought to you by my friends over at Artlist, my favorite music licensing platform. Whenever I record myself speaking, I like to apply a decoy strategy and overlay some subtle background music that helps to distract from any other unwanted sound that your microphone might pick up anyway and the viewer will perceive a much cleaner recording. The way I like to find matching music for my recordings is by going to a music licensing platform like Artlist and then the platform will automatically suggest music that matches the style of my YouTube channel. You can also use their curated playlist to dig into a specific style of music that you like. I generally like to set a filter to avoid songs with vocals as they could otherwise I kind of compete with my voice in the recording. And after I selected a suitable song, I just download it from the Artlist platform, drag and drop it below my voice track and make sure the song is pitched down to at least negative 25 decibel so it is subtle and not too distracting. If you're interested in getting a subscription to Artlist, their creator plan starts at less than 10 US dollar per month for social media or if you want to use it for client productions, then you can also choose the professional plan, which is about 17 bucks, and that got you covered for all professional needs. If you sign up with my link below and choose the annual plan, then you get two months for free, so the deal gets even sweeter, so feel free to check them out. And massive thanks to Artlist for providing the awesome music once again and making this video possible. Now, if you wind up with some imperfect audio, there are a few ways on how to fix it in post-production. I'm demonstrating a few tricks in Adobe Premiere Pro but other video editing software is almost the same and has very similar functions, okay? The first one is the denoise function in Premiere Pro. All you have to do is go to the effects panel and then search for the term denoise and drag and drop that effect on your audio track. Next go to the effect controls and then move the slider from left to right until the background sound is completely cut off but make sure you don't push it too much to the right as otherwise it will start cutting into your voice as well and it will kind of deteriorate your recording quality. The next tip is applying the parametric equalizer effect. Once again you want to drag and drop that effect and then you can select from a number of presets in the effect controls. 
I personally like to use the vocal enhancer preset that is built into Premiere already and I mostly don't change the settings except for playing around with the gain. Lastly, you want to make sure that your audio levels have a steady volume over the entire video. I typically use the height limiter function and push the input boost by a few decibel and set the maximum amplitude to a value between minus 6 and minus 3 decibel. If you found value in this video, I would appreciate if you could hit the thumbs up button and feel free to share it with a friend who might find this useful and benefit from these tips. Also, make sure you check out Artlist if you're looking for cool music for your productions. That is it for today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in one of my next videos. Have a good day.